Hello everyone, Chris Room with the Room Insurance Agency, licensed independent insurance advisor located in Cincinnati, Ohio. Currently hold a license in 20 states. If you find this information on the video today important, please feel free to schedule an appointment with me or call or text. And I believe you will find this important if you have a Medicare Advantage plan or a prescription drug plan. Today, I'm going to talk about the Inflation Reduction Act and how it's going to affect prescription drug plans in 2025. So this provision and modification to the Medicare Part D drug benefit is aimed at reducing the prescription drug costs for those enrolled in Medicare Part D coverage, especially the high users or the people with very expensive medications. It's a good thing in most, in most regards. The prescription max out of pocket this year is going to be capped at 2000. Last year, it was capped somewhere between 3,300 and 3,500, depending on the plan you chose. So it's going down to 2,000, which is good. They have eliminated the coverage gap. Last year, they eliminated the catastrophic level. So two of the four stages are now eliminated, and we're going to have a deductible and the initial coverage stage, and that's it. And there's some more good news. If you are on expensive medication, sometimes I've seen people hit $2,000 in the first month. Well, if that happens and you're one of those people, or even if it's $500, you can spread the cost of your medications throughout the entire year now. So if you're one of those people that are going to hit $2,000 or even $1,500 and you want to spread it out over a 12-month period to help out with budgeting, this is going to be a really nice tool for you guys to use. You will sign up after you enroll in your plan. You can do it at any time during the year. And usually it can be done through the portal or you can call the insurance company you enroll with. So now I'm going to tell you what I think is going to happen and how it's going to affect us this year. So a lot of these costs are going to be passed on to the insurance companies and it's going to result in much higher premiums. I've already seen a big jump in one of the, the low cost plans. Um, I also think there's going to be a consolidation of plans as well because the insurance companies taking on a lot of this cost up to 60% of what I've heard, it's going to pass on to the consumer. What I see happening with Advantage plans, because Advantage plans have prescription drug benefits built into them often, I think we're going to see a reduction in some of those other perks that people really like about Advantage plans, like dental, vision, over-the-counter. We might see some of the max out-of-pockets increasing, etc. One big thing for agents, we're not getting paid on standalone prescription drug plans. So if you have a Medicare supplement, not an Advantage plan, and a standalone prescription drug plan, so far, I'm not really sure if any carriers are going to be paying us this year. I know the two lowest cost ones from WellCare and Aetna, they're not paying us, not even on the existing business that we have. So they've cut us off. So you might have a hard time finding help on these plans, but you can always go to Medicare.gov and somebody there can help you. I'm still happy to help you too. If uh, you need my assistance, I'll teach you how to do it on Medicare.gov or I can use my tools still. I can see all the, the plans as well. Uh, could we see one plan in the future? Well, since Medicare is negotiating rates with the pharmacy companies, I could see that happening possibly. I'm not saying it's happening. That's just uh, a far out there prediction that I'm kind of seeing transpiring with these uh, changes. Uh, if you want to opt out of a drug plan because you're healthy and you're not taking medications and you see a big jump, let's say a $40 rate increase on your premium, well, just be aware of the penalty. The penalty is 1% per month for every month you don't have one. So let's say you stop or you don't want to have a plan this year and you opt out and then come March, you need a plan because you've been prescribed an expensive medication. First off, you're going to have to wait until the next annual election period. Secondly, you're going to have a 12 month penalty. You want 12 months without a plan and they multiply that 12% by the national average of drug pricing, which is going to significantly increase this year. So the penalty is going to increase as well. So it's not a good idea, but if you do just be aware of the penalty. And then I see a lot of people plan shopping this year and I see a lot of the prescription drug plans. When people call to complain about their new premium, maybe they might get persuaded into enrolling in a Medicare Advantage plan. I can tell you right now, just be very careful. Don't just choose one carrier. Work with an independent agent that can shop you through multiple carriers. Do not switch 
like let's say you had the WellCare Zero Premium plan. I'm not a fan of their Advantage plans. So be very careful. Their networks aren't great. There are a lot of good Advantage plans out there that you can shop. And I can run you through every single one or you can go to Medicare.gov and shop. Do not just jump in to a prescription drug person trying to enroll you in an Advantage plan based off of the new adjustments to the prescription drug plans. Again, if you have any questions about any of this, feel free to reach out to me. If you're a client of mine, I'm still going to help you with your prescription drug plan. If you're on a Medicare supplement plan and you want to look at an Advantage plan, I'm happy to help you with that as well. I do both. Uh, I still like prescription or Medicare supplements better than Advantage plans. I always will. I just see a much higher uh, consumer satisfaction over the 15 years I've been doing this. But if you want to try an Advantage plan and take that risk, you're more than welcome to do it. They're not horrible plans like they are portrayed in a lot of places. Uh, but, you know, there is some risk with them, of course, higher out of pocket maxes and stuff like that. But again, without going too much further into anything, feel free to reach out to me. Chrisroom.com, schedule an appointment, call or text me, and we can prepare you for the annual election period, which is October 15th through December 7th. Thanks for watching. If you found this information useful, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my page. Have a great day. Bye-bye.